sometimes the words just don't seem to come. Trying to squash intense feelings we have inside into small characters that represent sounds can leave us feeling empty. Until we all understand that resource scarcity is a cause of lack of security. Before the written word, there was the spoken word. And we story told in poetic ways. Action. Everyone is a food activist when they are hungry. Well, spoken word poetry can trace its roots all the way back to antiquity and the, uh, and the great traveling storytellers of yore. But in the modern sense, the, the modern spoken word movement can trace its roots back to the beats. The feature poet of the night at Tongues of Fire in Victoria is Toronto's Greg Frankson. But on stage, we know him as Ritalin. The fruit farms, from the fruit farms, from the fruit farms of Niagara, from the fruit farms, from the fruit farms, from the fruit farms. Greg's been a traveling poet for the last decade. He uses his voice to drive home messages that many think, but may not have the courage to say. Spoken word poetry is his vehicle. Yeah. I take my role as a spoken word artist extremely seriously, that the messages that I share should be framed in such a way that people can gain something from it and hopefully use it in their lives in some way. Keeping up an entertaining, educating and enlightening vibe, the Victoria Poetry Project puts on events like this to cultivate community. They've recreated a modern version of storytelling, once seen by our ancestors gathered around a fire in a cave. Something I wasn't expecting. Liberate your voice, uh, which is kind of, I think, basically sort of the big theme for almost any spoken word in the slam movement is just, your story is important, here's a platform to tell it. Because we all have different stories, no matter how similar they might seem, and it's gonna, anytime any one of us gets up and tells our story, it's gonna affect people hopefully in a positive way. We had Dionysus over for dinner. It was a disaster. Yes, I dumpster dive too. I'm a freak at heart. I'm afraid that it's true. So go ahead, pay. And I'm flying from room to room. Like it's a incredible. Center. I really haven't found a community quite like this. Um, I feel really privileged to be Victoria and to be Victoria is my intro to spoken word. And yeah, it's just welcoming, energetic. So welcoming that I even got a shout out. Raji is brand new to Victoria, so welcome her here to this community. She is a spoken word artist. Spoken word poetry gatherings remind us of our verbal birthright. Someone gave up on a little too early. We need to talk to one another and to draw each other into conversation to be able to express our voices in powerful and authentic ways. And I think that spoken word poetry is one of the purest forms of, of oral expression that really allow people to come together, to debate, to discuss, to disagree, to rage, and eventually to come to some kind of an understanding and appreciation for each other and the world around us. The words have come and are falling on hungry and eager ears. In Victoria, I'm Reggie Cabley.